the German Baltic Sea, summer 2022. Parkwind and Deme Offshore write the next chapter of Offshore Wind. Parkwind, owner and operator of four wind farms in the Belgian North Sea and Deme Offshore, reputable world leader in the offshore wind industry. It all begins in 2020, with the award of the EPCI contract for the highly challenging Arcadis Ostwan project. The project comprises the engineering, procurement, construction, and installation of 28 XXL monopiles, one OSSTP, one J-tube cage, and 27 sets of secondary steel components. The first key milestone is the fabrication of 28 next-generation XXL monopiles, constructed by Steel Wind in northern Germany. They are the largest monopiles ever built, at up to 110 meters long, taller than Big Ben. Meanwhile, equipment from all across the world is being shipped to our base port in Flushing. Only one vessel is capable of handling a challenge of such magnitude, Orion. Years of offshore experience, engineering expertise, and an incredibly motivated team came together. A tailor-made pile gripper, compensating for the movement of the ocean and allowing us to meet the most demanding installation requirements. After her official launch, the Orion casts off from Flushing, ready and more than able to face her first challenge. Lifting these 2,000-ton monopiles onto the barge involves a feat of advanced lift engineering, with a tandem lift of three cranes working simultaneously to move them safely from the K-side. The monopiles are transported by tug and barge via the Kiel Canal to the marshalling harbour on the Danish island of Rona. With the foundations and the Orion all in place, the installation can begin. The crew wait with anticipation as their meticulous preparations are put into practice. Arcadis OS-1 is a project of many firsts. This is the first time that we've been using Orion to install monopiles with all its complex tools on deck. This is the first time that we install so big monopiles as well. We are talking about 2,000 uh, tons, 100 meters each. And this is the first time that such a project requires floating installation methods from A to Z. Geotechnical conditions make the project even more challenging, with soft clay overlaying glacial till and chalk and a water depth of up to 45 meters. This is where Orion comes into play. She can operate in these challenging soils, which would be inaccessible to any jack-up vessel. Orion is uh, the first vessel in the world installing XXL monopiles uh, afloat uh, on DP with a motion compensated pile gripper. Uh, so what we are doing now is never been done anywhere else in the world. The main difference uh, between a jackup vessel and a Rhine um, I see is um, we can by far faster react to uh, changing environmental conditions. Um, we can also uh, relocate uh, Orion from one location uh, to the other. And, uh, and of course, what Orion has uh, is uh, quite a big crane, so we can also uh, install far bigger components, uh, especially in view of uh, the next generation uh, wind turbines. The most exciting part of my job, it's when we start to uplift the monopile, put a hammer on it, we start to pilot in the ground, you feel the whole vessel shaking because it's a tremendous amount of impact. Safety is followed by the highest priority, so in all daily operations, it's rule number one, the job must be done safe. Individuals will never get a vessel like this running. Uh, we have the saying, Team Orion, no challenge will stop us. Uh, we, we all do it together and uh, 
Without the team, it would not be possible. But I can do something different every day, that I can see the park moving and starting to grow, um, and that I can work with colleagues I like. It gives a lot of satisfaction to leave it behind, knowing this will provide a clean future for our families. Anticipation soon turns into pride, and for good reason. The monopiles, OSSTP and JTube Cage, are all successfully installed, opening the way for the next phase of this complex EPCI project, installing the secondary steel structures and completing the foundations. ICCP cages protect the monopiles from corrosion. Boat landings provide access to the monopile via a ladder. Internal platforms fit inside the monopile, feed in the infield cables, and finally, external platforms allow access to the tower from the vessel, enabling maintenance to take place on the whole tower. These components have all been produced in several yards across northern Poland, then loaded onto the installation vessel Lone in Gdansk a strategic location just 12 hours sail from the Arkadis Ostwan wind farm. Their installation requires another floating installation method to be engineered, involving specialized tools, a boat landing installation aid and an anode cage installation aid. These foundations will support the Vesta's 9.5 megawatts wind turbines, expected to be installed by the end of 2022. The wind farm will then come online in 2023, supplying enough green energy to power the equivalent to 290,000 households. Our special thanks go to the entire Arkadis Ostwan Deme Offshore team. I look back with a lot of pride to uh, the good cooperation and teamwork I have seen in this project. Because projects like this require one team, one Deme. None of this would have been possible without the unwavering support of our professional subcontractors. And a special thanks to our client Parkwind for giving us the opportunity to lead the way. Open new horizons and make history together. <laughs>